Hi everyone, welcome back to our how-to videos. Do you have a 3D printer with Dior Explainer? Have you printed Dior Color object yet? Do you even know how to? Let's have a look how to print Dior Color or two different material types with flash print software. At this stage we will have a look at how to when you have a design ready. How to design a Dior Color objects. We will have a look at some other time in, in following videos. Okay, so in this tutorial I will use two software packages. One is Autodesk 123 Design and the other one is Flashprint software that comes with our Flashwatch Dreamer. 123D Design by Autodesk is a free software package that's, that is available for to everyone and it, it is really easy to use in As I mentioned before, we'll work with um, with a prepared model, earlier prepared model, and um, the model is available for download in the in the details below. To be able to print with two colors or two different materials, you have to have the 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 design in two split in two separate files. So you need to to be able to split the design into two STLs and load it into flash print software uh, because later on you will have to select the extruder for each of the for each of the uh, parts so this design consists of six insets as you can see they are all separate and a cube so first of all we'll we'll export the parts as a separate STLs and then we'll open it in the flash print software to make it easier, I'll I'll select the I'll select the cube and hide it. Now I'll select the, all of the insets and will export as a as a single file. We'll save it as STL file. And we'll just override it. Now let's undo hiding and I'll select the, just the cube and I'll export the cube into the same folder as before. So now we have two files, uh, cube and insets, and we'll go to Flashprint software and open them. So since as you saw in the design, in one two three D design, you the, the print was in the air, so now it's opening the print in the air as well. We'll just put it on the platform as as it suggests. So this is the cube, as as you can see, it has cutouts for the insets, and now I'll open the insets themselves. And once again, it's while it's in the air, it suggests to put it on on the on the bed. Once again, click yes to put it on the plat platform. So if I hover with a mouse over the cube, you will see that I have cube, so it's one STL, and I have insets as another STL. And this time, because we selected all insets at once, this STL, these, these in insets are presented as a single object. What we'll do now, we'll click on the we'll click on the insets themselves. So we selected them and we'll just assign left extruder for them. Your default extruder is always right extruder. So whatever you load part into flash print, it will select by default um, right extruder. And as you can see the left extruder is the blue color. And now we have two colored print. So insets are supposed to be done by left extruder and the cube itself by right extruder. When, when you print with a PLA in two colors, the problem, the problem everyone faces is that um, nozzles ooze and you have some, um, some leftovers on, on your print and you, you want to try to avoid that. It's not, it's not that big issue with um, 
good ideas or I don't know, or, or tips for instance because it's, it doesn't flow as much and it's harder to execute. So to prevent that, when we go to print, uh, we'll, in this case I'll select PLA just, just for this presentation and I'm going to print in, in PLA. In options, you will have two settings for the temperatures, as you would expect because we have right and left extruders. And, uh, and and the platform. So I'll set it to 200 degrees for for the extruders and 60 degrees for the bed. You have to keep in mind that when you print with uh, two different material types, the speed will be limited by your slowest material. That means that, for instance, if you print with PLA and TPE or rubber, you will have to limit your maximum speed to the speed of the TPE. This is the limitation probably of the software. I'm not aware if other software packages would allow you to have two different speeds for, for the extruders, but in this case you have to set it to the lowest the lowest speed. I'll show you I'll show you a picture later on of um, of the of the wall that we're going to enable now. So because because the nozzles ooze probably the easiest way is to to build a wall around the around the print and what it will do it uh, it will build a wall about one centimeter from your print and every time since since the wall is built before the before your object every time the nozzle passes the wall it will wipe off the extruder I'll as I said, I'll, sh I'll show you the picture of that wall and, and you will see what I mean. So everything is set. We'll just save it as, um, as, the, as the G code file that is ready for print. And while it's slicing, um, yep, so it's done. So as you can see, the is our object, the cube in this case, and the fence, the wall around it. So you, you might think that it, it is a wastage of the of your filament to build that wall, but trust me, it will provide you better results since um, all the leftover filament will be wiped off the on the wall. And not on your print, so your print will stay stay nice and clean, and and you will enjoy enjoy it. So this is the cube, so it's ready to print, and I'll show you a picture of the of the, of the final result, and now I'll show you how to another example with uh, previously prepared. So this is this is our logo, and I'll load the base for logo as well. So this is two part print as well. Once again, exactly same same procedure. So select one of your STL files and assign right extruder. So as you can see it has been assigned two different colors now. Once again go on to print. Once again I'll, I will choose PLA. Don't forget the wall. We'll use the temperature. And we'll just save it. So slicing is done. In in this case, I'll show you an example of the printing that I've done on the logo. 
and I've done it without um, without the ball, and it actually came out quite well without the ball. And the reason for that is most likely that um, that the most of the most of the colors are separated, so it just um, comes out better. Okay, so as you can see, we have three objects there, and you might recognize two out of three, and maybe even the third one. So the first one is the cube with insets, and as you can see, it came it came out quite nicely. It, the second one is the is our logo, and. Um, as you can see, the base was pr printed in the silver PLA, and the letters, letters were printed in white. The third object is the is the fence. In, is sorry, the wall that we would build around the cube, around our dice. And on the surface, you can see the leftovers. Um, and and as, as I mentioned before. These leftovers are, are the result of the oozing of the of the nozzle. So, as you can see, it's quite quite effective uh, cleaning nozzle cleaning way. If you wouldn't have this wall, it basically would end up on your on your dies, and as you can imagine, it would ruin your print because it simply doesn't look nice. That's it for today. Now you should be able to do multicolor prints. Please visit our website and if you like the video subscribe for more. We will